you lost your father when you were nine years mm. old. Mm -hmm. And I wondered how things changed in your family when that happened, or, or if that was a big change in your personality. Um, well, we realized, well, I realized we were poor then. <laughs> it was, I was like, oh, we don't have any money. Literally, after my dad died, my mom found out that we had $400 in the bank. Really? She had $400 in the bank. That was it. She had three kids. And what does she do is she, she takes uh, all of us, me and my two brothers, on a road trip to Colorado because she wants to go be in the mountains. And so we all get in the car and we're all miserable, as you can imagine. Like everybody's processing this in, in, in their own um, way and it's usually not, uh, well, it's not an easy thing to do when you're all shoved in the back seat together. I mean, a road trip isn't easy under the best of circumstances. And my mom and I would sleep in the car, and the, my brothers would sleep in a tent outside of the car. Oh, wow. We had a Pinto station wagon. And then we got to the top of this mountain in the Rockies in Colorado, and, and we were fighting. And my mom was like, just look around. Look around at how beautiful things are. I told you I was gonna cry during this interview. Like, you're like the Barbara Walters of, you know, black and white photography. Um, That's never been said before. <laughs> um, but then she got out of the car and she was really, she was really um, upset, but trying to hold it together. And I remember her sitting on this rock and I got out of the car and I sat with her and I all of a sudden just kind of got it, you know? Really? Well, that you're gonna have to make a shift. You make a shift. But, um, and the love stays with you, but that the, that the world is beautiful.